Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import contacts into Xero using a CSV file. I used the Australian version of Xero's demo company in this video, but the process is pretty much the same all around the world. So you can follow along no matter where you're from. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so just a couple of things before we go into Xero. First of all, the way to do this is that we're going to download a CSV file from Xero, and then we're going to edit it. I'm going to do it in Excel, but you can also do it in Google Sheets if you like. Also, if you upload details for an existing contact, the new information that you upload will overwrite the old information. So I'll just show you an example of that. Also, it's worth noting that you can only upload 1000 contacts at a time into Xero. So if you've got more than that, you'll need to do multiple uploads. And then finally, when you're doing this, you can choose whether empty fields in your CSV file can be ignored or if they're going to delete existing info. So that would be for contacts that you already have in Xero. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and we'll see how this is done. Okay, so over here in the demo company, let's just go to contacts and all contacts. Okay, now to do the import, we just go over to this little menu here and click on import. All right, so there's a little bit of a blurb here about some of the things to take note of, but I've already sort of gone through that anyway. Um, just where I'm gonna show you that you can overwrite the information for existing contacts. That's gonna be this contact name field here. So I'll show you that. And then again, you can only import um, 1000 contacts at a time. And then this is the little selector down here for whether you want um, the empty fields to be ignored or if you want them to delete existing information for contacts that you've already got in zero. So I'll just leave that on be ignored. Okay, so let's just download the template. Okay, and for me, that's gonna be in Excel. Okay, and what we've got here is this template with these headings at the top here in row one. And what's in these headings, these things such as contact name, um, account number, email address, etc. they correspond to the fields that we've got um, in the contacts. So really you just need to go through and fill out the details um, for each field, for each contact that you want to upload. So what I'll do is I won't fill out every single thing because um, it's really just uh, good enough just to see a few fields in action. So I'll just create a brand new contact. So I'll put a name in that's for a new one. And then we'll also just update an existing contact just so you can see how uh, when you do the upload, it actually overwrites any information that you put in. So I'll just fill out a brand new contact now. Okay, so I've just got this uh, contact name as 123 company. And then I'll just fill that one field, which is the email address. So I'll just upload that um, as the new contact. All right, I'll just go back into zero and we'll just duplicate this screen and we'll go into contacts. And what I'll do is I'll update, uh, let's say we update ABC furniture there. So what I'll do is I'll just change that email address um, just so you can see. So it says info at abfl.com and I'll just change that to say admin at and we'll just see how that works. So it's ABC furniture. Okay, so I just need to write that in here. Okay, so I've just typed in ABC furniture exactly as it is in zero at the moment. And then I've just changed that email address to admin at. So we'll see that overwrite. Okay, so I'll just save this. And you just gotta make sure when you save it, it stays as a CSV and you don't go and save it as an Excel file. And now we'll just upload it. So back over here in zero, we'll just go to the import. We'll select the file. Okay, so that's there. And then we'll click on next. Okay, so it says that two of two contacts will be imported. Um, it's given a couple of little warnings here, but these are just warnings. Um, they're nothing that's um, gonna stop them from being uploaded. So if you do get any error messages, just make sure you check them out. All right, I'll complete the import. 
Okay, so now we've got one, two, three company, which is the one that we um, created from scratch. And that's the email address that we put in. And then down here in ABC Furniture, you can see that we changed that um, from info at to admin at. So you can see how that overrode it because we put that name in exactly um, as it is already in zero. If you get anything wrong, then it'll create a brand new contact. Okay, so that's how you can import or upload contacts into zero. So you can upload brand new contacts or you can go ahead and change some information for your existing contacts um, by making sure you put the right name in that first field.